all right uh today um we're gonna be doing another vlog this is more like an adventure vlog uh my work has a little uh, uh founder's day kind of like september 11th uh celebration thing we were at Souders village in archibald ohio so i'm gonna be showing you guys uh like the stuff that's there it's kind of like a historic um, village there's some neat things there we've been there before there's christian peeking out you see him there's colton there's Amber. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a few. All right, as you come in, um, there's a bunch of little buildings, like Erie Shop, and Barber Shop, Basket Shops. It's all a bunch of little buildings in the courtyard. Here is uh, Erie Sauter's first uh, workshop. It was like in his parents' backyard. There's a picture of him. This is the other part of the workshop. He had a belt system that he made himself to power all his uh, lathes and other tools that he used. That's what all the uh, belts and the pulleys and the, the shaft right there leading over to uh, a motor. And there's the lathe. Here's uh, wooden shoes that they would use uh, when it was still a swamp, like because it was the black swamp area. Um, here's some solar dyes that they have out there to dye yarn to show you how it would look. Here's a replica of Erie Sauter's uh, office. Um, a lot of it's original stuff that was in it. He was always traveling around. He also received three honorary doctorate degrees.
Here is a horse-drawn uh, funeral coach. They don't make cars like that anymore. Here's the uh, general store at Sauter Village. Uh, you can actually buy the stuff here. A lot of it's old timey. Here are actual old printing presses that they used to use to print papers um, back in our area. This is the glass blowing shop. Um, you actually can buy all this stuff. Some of it's quite pricey, but a lot of crafts, craftsmanship goes into it. Um, it's kind of neat to watch them do it. Uh, they actually now have black light uh, glass where it glows in the dark. Here's the uh, water grist mill where they would uh, use water power to grind meal and uh, flour. Here's a uh, migrant farm worker uh, like coach or a trailer wagon type thing that they would stay in um, during the summer. Um, it's actually kind of like a precursor to some of the tiny houses out there. Told the boys, how'd you like to sleep in there? Christians in timeout in a jail cell. Amber said we should try to do this. 
uh, be cheaper than buying all these boards like Menards and stuff. Just have these guys cut a tree down and like plane all these boards for us. There's a humongous box of shredded wheat. The actual like shredded wheat was humongous too. Here's the park map. We obviously, I didn't film every single thing, um, but it's really big. Lots of buildings, as you can see. Um, there's like, you know, 55 different things that they label out. Plus, there's other stuff that you just can look at. If you're ever in the northwest corner of Ohio, it's pretty neat um, place to check out if you're, especially if you're into history want to see how things are made like at some of the shops where they'll actually show you how they do stuff but yep all right uh so you guys just saw all of solder's village what all we saw um we're gonna show you guys what we got for souvenirs um i've been collecting buttons from everywhere we go uh they don't have any so because i'm gonna like get a cork board when we get our new house uh done uh, but they had magnets, so I got a Solders Village magnet. I figure I can either put something like attach a metal like push pin to the back of it or a piece of metal on the cork board and stick it on. Um, I got some uh, like licorices, like old fashioned licorices, different flavors. And I've been wanting to try this, like it's one of the vintage candy bars, a peanut chew. Um, and I haven't been able to find one, but now I did. So I'm gonna try that. Uh, what did you get, Colton? Um, I got this 
puzzle. So you got a puzzle. It says countryside living. So you got that. And then um, I got this candy part. I got it because it looks old. Yeah, it has vintage like packaging on it, but it's not old. Obviously, it's not a like old expired. And Christian, he got um, a raccoon tail. A raccoon tail. And a fox's tail. Um, and then my Charles, I got a Charleston chain chocolate flavored, but I think um, it's in a bag. Oh yeah, I think it's actually on my lap. Right there. And then Mama? Hang on, I gotta get mine out. Oh, she's so gotta get hers out. We'll wait on her. I got three of these little... They're like threads, but I use them for either friendship bracelets or to tie around my hair. I got like a wine color and then like a cranberry looking color and then like a mauve, I guess, but it has like a bunch of different little colors in it. Mm -hmm. And then I got chocolate cherry fudge. Yep, that's what all we got. So, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, our little outing. Um, and I was off to go do other things on the weekend. So, until next time, have a good day. Take care.